Hey, it's Chris with Rowe Dental Laboratory, and today I want to highlight this little book we've been working on for a while to make your lives way easier when it comes to full arch restorations and how to get them done. This is the ultimate restorative protocol guide. Now, in this guide, it has all the different workflows, analog and digital, as to how to get to your prototype or your printed try and, and then your final fixed prosthesis. And then it has the different scenarios. So as the patient, how do they present when they come into your office? Now, we've put together, there are four patient scenarios in the full arch world as to how they can walk through your doors. And just in the first page here, we have, well, first couple pages, we have them listed here. It's the patient walks in with just implants placed and there's healing caps on the implants. Uh, they could come in with implants and multi-unit abutments seated already with healing caps, or they could walk through your doors with implants and, and the fixed prosthesis is they're temporary and you have to get them into their prototype and then final. And then the last scenario is an overdenture that you want to convert to a fix. Now there's challenges with all these and we're going to kind of go through uh, some of those challenges. All right, so let's talk about this scenario. This is going to be the implants without multi-unit abutment seating. So they walk into their office, implants are placed, either cover screws are on or, or, or there's a healing caps on the implants. The challenge with this is we need to figure out the ideal multi-unit abutments to use to get you the ideal screw access holes so you have a nice prosthesis. How do you figure out the indexing of those multi-unit abutments and have the right uh, angulation? So there's 0, 17, and 30 degree angulations uh, for your multi-unit abutments. Depending on your implant system, there may be a couple more, but 0, 17, and 30 are the, uh, the, the standard ones. Now, another challenge, and of course, we're going to help you out with that, and that's listed in this book. The other challenge is going to be establishing vertical and then establishing passivity of each of the implants. So we're going to need impressions for that. And it can be a digital impression um, or, or an analog impression. Honestly, in this particular scenario, the analog impression is still the best route to go. And again, we have that listed here in this book. So that's one of the scenarios that can walk into your office and we got you covered. So there's a ton of great workflows in this. Again, a digital and analog, we got you covered. What, no matter what the patient scenario is, you can download this from our website in an ebook version, or we can send you a physical version as well. Please give us a call with any questions here at the lab. Um, follow us on our socials. We have some great information on there on not just Full Arch, but everything in the lab world. And we look forward to working with you on your next Full Arch case. Thank you.